Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? I am so happy to be here with you today. Wait until you see this fantastic project that we have for Fun Fold Friday. And if you have been living under a rock, no, I'm just kidding. If you don't know, it is celebration. That is the best time to buy things because you get to get free things when you purchase. So check out my July 2nd post. If you go to inkyhandswarmhearts.com, I will link that post in the description below. Check out Celebration because it is the best time of the year. I'm going to teach you how to make this amazing card. It's a fun fold and we're using the Hippest Hippo stamp set and the dies. Both of those you can earn for free with qualifying purchases. And this is one of the things that you can purchase if you would like. It's called Stylish Shapes and we are using the largest shape for the opening of this card. So definitely check that out as well. I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way so we can get started. And if you're looking to learn how to shade the hippos, how to color those in, I'm gonna show you how to do that in another video. So that video will also be linked in the description below. So check that out so that you can learn how to color your hippos and shade them properly. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you this amazing card. It is a spinner card and watch our hippo do her pirouettes, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just blow. See how she spins? So when you go to put a um, it in the, in the envelope, you're gonna twist your hippo Get her nice and tight. I'm sorry if I blew too hard into the camera. <laughs> but so you're just gonna spin her up, get her get nice and taut. And then when you put her in the card and someone opens the card, you're gonna open her and she's gonna spin just like that. Isn't that the cutest? You can also um, you know, just play with her. Isn't she just awesome? So I'm gonna teach you how to make this cute card. So I'm gonna put this over here and let's go ahead and get started. So I started with a piece of eight and a half by five and a half inch um, Coastal Cabana cardstock. And the Hues of Happiness is a designer series paper that I decided to use. So I placed it onto my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine and I didn't glue it down. I just laid it so that it would be, you know, it'd fit. Then I put my die over the top and I ran it through my machine. So what that does is it cuts it out, but it doesn't, this is not glued down. The reason I did that is I wanted to be able to use these for another project and not have glue holding them together. So now I can glue it down. So I'm gonna grab my silicone mat. I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back. This Hues of Happiness paper is gorgeous. So definitely check it out. Oh wait, before I do that, I'm getting so ahead of myself because I like am so excited about this card. Let me just set that to the side. It'll be fine as long as I don't mess with that glue and I can put more glue over the top of that. I'm gonna talk next about making our hippo. So I love to use the Stamparatus to do a technique and it is called mirror stamping. So this is the Stamparatus that I have and I have, um you know, a piece of grid paper on here that is well loved. I can even put this side on there, but it doesn't matter, right? You guys can see the daisy on here. I reuse my grid paper over and over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my paper down. Not my paper, oh my Lord, I can't even think today. You guys have me frazzled. Real life stamping happening right here. I'm gonna put my silicone mat down. That's what I was gonna say. And my hippo needs to be inked up. So I'm gonna take my memento ink gonna open that and I'm gonna go ahead and I've attached her to this side of my Stamparatus and I'm just giving her a nice inking and then I'm gonna press her down onto my silicone mat all right so I want to get a nice impression and if there's some spots that are lighter than others you can give her an, one more inking because she hasn't moved on this um, plate she we'll ink in the same exact spot again, so you can give her an extra little touch of ink. Okay, and then I'm gonna take, now is when I take my paper, and I'm gonna place it down, okay? 
and I'm gonna stamp, I'm not gonna put any more ink on here, I'm just gonna use what's left, and I'm gonna press this down and give it a nice press, okay? And I'm gonna make sure that when I flip, there is my hippo on the other side. So see how she's the opposite of the stamp? There's the stamp and there's the opposite because we stamped her down and picked her up, she's the reverse. So now this is the reverse side is the side that I'm going to be, um, let me clean my hippo. The reverse side of the stamp is um, the side I'm gonna be coloring because the reason that we need a mirrored image is because we want our ballerina on both sides of our thread, which is the piece that we have here in the center, okay? Let me clean this silicone mat too, I forgot, because it didn't pick up everything. All right, so now we have our ballerina. This is how she stamps normally, this direction. And so the one that's facing her, or is the mirror image of her, we are gonna take that one and that's the one that we're gonna color, okay? And we're also gonna stamp another one on another piece of cardstock the same way that she is, okay? So you have one and then this is the mirrored one and I've colored both of them. Now you need to have two of them because you have to put them back to back and they have to match, which is why when I pressed down, um, and this was down like this, I went ahead and pushed this because what I am doing when I do that is I am going to now be able to line up my die cut. So here is my ballerina die cut on the wrong side. And when I do that and cut it out, it's gonna cut the right side out. See here, this one was the wrong side and I lined it up and when I flipped it over, it was it cut it out perfect. That's why after you've pushed down with your paper, you wanna use whatever ink is left and press it into place so that you have the image on the back side that you need to use the die cut because these die cuts don't come in mirror image. So the only way to cut it is to line that up perfectly. So that's what we're gonna do. Listen guys, if I if this is as clear as mud, please leave me um, a message and let me know and I will try and clarify it a little bit better for you. So those are our ballerinas. They are already cut out and colored. So now let's stamp our You're Always On Point. And those are our words. We're gonna put that right here onto this is another, um, it's this one right here, the biggest one, and I just cut it off on the end because it's gonna be trimmed on our card. So I'm gonna stamp that kind of in the center of the point and where I want it, and then I can always trim that down when I put it on my card. So we'll go ahead, and there's, you're always on point. Let's clean this, and now we can start assembling our card. All right, so we have our two pieces. We need some thread, and this is just a pink thread that I have, so I'm gonna cut a piece because the thread has to go in between our hippos, but it can't go past our card. So once, I'm just gonna lay it on my card here, and I'm just gonna grab my scissor, and I'm going to um, cut that. And we are going to glue our ballerinas back to back, but we need the thread in the middle. So let me grab my silicone mat again. I'm gonna lay the one that's the reverse, the mirrored one first, and I'm gonna put some adhesive. I'm gonna use the wet glue. I really like the wet glue because it's very strong. And I'm gonna put it all over her. Okay, and then I'm going to lay my string and I'm gonna put this in the center so that I know. Okay, make sure that my string is centered. 
All right, and I wanna put it where her toe is because ballerinas pirouette on their toe, right? So we want it to fall like so. That looks pretty awesome. And now we're gonna attach the right facing one, the normal, not the mirror, the normal one. We're gonna go ahead and put her down over the top of that string. And you wanna make sure that that string is nice and straight and that you press this hippo down, okay? So there is our string, which is what's gonna help our little hippo to grip and spin, okay? See? All right, so now we're going to lay her down. We're gonna put some adhesive. I'm gonna use the wet glue again. I really love it and I think it's super strong. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down right here. And I'm gonna put another line right there. And I'm gonna lay my ballerina so she's as centered as I can make her, okay? And put her thread on that piece there. And let's lay this thread here. Okay, I'm gonna pull it as taut as I can and stick it in that piece. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the piece that I originally was trying to put glue on way ahead of time. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on it. And then I'm gonna glue this down over the top. Okay, and I want, like I told you, I wanna make sure, see how there's some slack in that thread? We don't want that. We want her to be nice and tight. There can't be slack because if she's not taut, she's not gonna stick. So we wanna make sure that she's tight, that that string is tight. And then we're gonna line this up, match it up here. Make sure that it fits and that it lines up and make sure again that your thread is nice and tight and you're gonna press this layer into place. And that holds that string down. Okay. So there she is suspended in there, okay. So now we're gonna fold our card in half I'm gonna use my bone folder. Let me put my corners together. And I'm gonna press this into place. All right, now comes the fun part, okay? If we're gonna give her a spotlight. So on the inside of our card, I put a piece of white, five and a quarter by four inch, basic white card stock. And so this is gonna go right here, but she needs a spotlight first. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a scrap paper and I'm gonna put my card on it. I'm gonna grab my Daffodil Delight, which is the color yellow that I am using. And I'm gonna grab my Daffodil Delight um, blending that I find it. Okay, my blending brush. I'm gonna pick up some of that Daffodil Delight and then I'm going to start here in the center and I'm going to give her a spotlight. So I'm gonna start small. I'm just gonna start with a small circle and you can expand it as you add more color and you want it to have that glow around the outside, okay? So let's go ahead and put it in our card and see how that looks and see if I need any more ink. So we're gonna place that like so and then put her in there. That's perfect. I think it looks great. So let's go ahead and attach that inside. We are done with that Daffodil Delight. Pull this off too, and we'll grab our silicone mat. Put our adhesive. And the 
forgot to pick that up. And add it to the center of our inside card here. It's perfect. I just really wanted her to be spotlighted like she was the star of the show. All right, so there she is. So far, so good, right? I think she's looking great so far. Now, I had a little bit of oozing, so I'm gonna pick that up with my, you know, I love my little um, adhesive eraser or adhesive remover, I call it. And it gets these little balls of adhesive that I have to just pick off of here and throw in the garbage. But I just wanna make sure that nothing's sticking. And you know, when you use that wet glue, and I was fairly generous with it because I didn't want, I wanted it to be nice and tight in there. And I wanted my ballerina to sit in there great. So I'm just gonna make sure that I've gotten all the extra adhesive that might have oozed out. Okay, so now we're gonna do the words, okay? So it says you're always on point. So I'm gonna place this right here and I, I don't want this to go past where my thread is. So I'm just gonna trim it. I'm gonna grab my, I always keep a little paper trimmer on my desk. This is mini guillotine one that I got um, when I chose to sign up um, to become a demonstrator. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place that. Again, wet adhesive. And then we will um, put our embellishments and then we'll spin her up and make sure she works. So we're gonna place that right there on the edge of that DSP. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and grab our embellishments. So I'm using the solid faceted gems and I wanted to use these hot pink ones because she is all in this really cute pink. I thought it would per was perfect. So I am going to take a big one, put it down here. Another big one, maybe right here. And we'll put a small one over here, right about there. Okay, so those are our three embellishments. I was trying doing threes. I really like the way that the threes look. You can see they come in this beautiful mossy meadow pool party. This is either polished pink or melon mambo. I'm not sure. That looks like blushing bride to me. And then I think that's starry sky and balmy blue, but don't quote me. They work because they're so glistening. They work with lots of colors. So if you're using um, a different color, you could still use these. They're awesome. And I highly recommend getting some of those fast, solid faceted gems. So let's spin our little girl up. So we gotta get her going, right? We gotta start winding her up so she gets nice and tight. And sometimes it takes a minute to get it nice and taut because you really, especially when you send this card, you want to really wind it super tight so that when the recipient opens the card, they have a wow. Gosh, how many times do you think I turned that? At least 20. It's getting great now. It's getting, it's starting to get super tight. Okay, so right there is good. So there's our card. So we'll pretend it's in the envelope and then the recipient opens it. Oh, how cute, look at that. And then when they open the card, there is our ballerina doing her pirouette. I hope that you enjoyed watching me make this card. I had the best time with you. I appreciate you guys watching me. I'm so grateful to have you as um, on my channel and I hope that you'll come back. If this is your first time, thank you for joining me. Let me know in the comments that it's your first time and let me know if there's anything that you're interested in. Um, if you guys need more clarification on how to do the mirror stamping, please, please, please let me know. I'd be happy to explain it a little better. And um, thanks for watching. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Home Arts. Give me a thumbs up guys. Happy stamping.